Good morning, WHBI. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, and it is a special day today. Today is National Earth Day. National Earth Day is held to show support by protecting the environment, and it's, you can celebrate by participating in Earth Day activities, organize recyclables, pick up trash in your neighborhood, walk or grow an herb garden indoors, and show your love for Earth. So um, it's not super nice out there today. I woke up to snow covering my front lawn, which doesn't make me very happy in April. However, uh, the sun is shining and, you know, it's always good to get outside and get some fresh air. It always just feels better. So even if you have to bundle up a little bit, maybe go outside, go for a bike ride, bring a bag with you and pick up some stuff that you see on the side of the road. I think that's what me and my son are going to do this afternoon. Um, bring a bag on a walk or a bike ride and try to pick up some trash and stuff that's on, on the side of the road in our neighborhood. I also want to try to use some less electricity today. We are home every day now. Um, I think we need to conserve some electricity, maybe turning off the TV if we're not watching it or, um, you know, turning off an extra set of lights when it is, when it's nice out. So I'm going to try not just today, but I'm going to try to do that from now on since we're home all the time now. Here is a fun fact about Earth Day. Recycling, reuse, and manufacturing account for 3.1% million jobs in the U.S. So a lot of jobs um, are surrounded by recycling, reusing, and remanufacturing goods. Now here's a trivia question for you. This is not a very um, uplifting trivia question. How much garbage does America produce? Americans produce 254 million tons of trash in one year. However, the upside of this is we recycle about 34.3% of it. So we do recycle quite a bit of it, but maybe that'll be a goal for you to use less trash, to have less, wa less waste. So celebrate National Earth Day and think about how you can um, treat our earth a little bit better than you are now. We do have a birthday today. Happy birthday to Ethan Parker in fourth grade. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful Earth Day. And we're continuing on with National Library Week. So um, like Mrs. Kosh mentioned yesterday, we have the best library staff and I have a couple more facts about libraries. In the United States, there are more public libraries than McDonald's. I'm a little bit surprised by that, but I'm very happy about that too, because I like to see people going to the library and, and checking out books. And as you heard my son say before, playing with the toys at the library too. So in the United States, there are more public libraries than McDonald's restaurants. Very cool. And here is a fact about the WHBI library. The book that's been checked out the most so far this year was Dogman followed by Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Getaway, and Guts. So very cool books. Those are the most checked out this year. Very cool. Thanks, Ms. Fazio, for putting those together. And we have another virtual spirit day coming up. And this one is called Q-Munity. And it's running starting today until Friday the 24th. And what we're looking for is... Through the end of this week, flex your creativity by finding cues, making cues, and taking a picture with them. Think chalk drawings, paint, cues made of family members, and you can even wear your favorite blue and gold cue gear. So make sure you use that um, hashtag, hashtag QBY Spartan Pride when you upload to Facebook. So I can't wait to see all the creativities with those cues. Here's Mr. Gannon. He's uh, drew a Q in his driveway with the hashtag QBY Spartan Pride, and he's got his Spartan um, t-shirt on. So can't wait to see what everyone does um, to show off their Q community, because this is definitely the best community. So find those cues, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. And I think that's all I have. So let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My son was doing the pledge over there, so he caught my attention a little bit. All right, and you know what we say here at the WHBI, let your 
dreams at the WHBI. All right, I hope everyone has a great day and make sure you get outside.